Hi there, this is uh, Ranjit and in this uh, uh, week of uh, Weekly Tech Talks, I'm going to talk about uh, basic Android security that uh, you should uh, know. And um, earlier, uh, this was not a big deal, but the problem right now is that uh, actually there is a lot of malware and even auto root exploits that are there for android and think of this as uh, earlier in uh, for example uh, when you uh, had this issue with windows computer there were a lot of viruses and malware for windows based computer because that was the most popular uh, os uh, and generally virus writers and stuff did not bother that much with the mac now the situation is the same for Android uh, smartphones because Android smartphones uh, have uh, like uh, are the most popular in the last count I don't recall it was more than 85 percent and these days many of the virus writers hackers malware etc are targeting Android uh, devices and you have to be a little bit careful uh, so if you follow these uh, simple tips and tricks you can protect yourself and by the way I'm recording this with the front-facing camera of the ZUK Z1 and for the audio I'm using this uh, Rode Lapel mic I'll just mount it over the tripod and then we'll continue so as I was talking earlier about it uh, the thing is that now many of the malwares and hackers are targeting Android devices and uh, suddenly there has been a huge surge in auto root exploits that can be really dangerous in fact i'll have a link for this uh, article from ars technica a very reputable site uh, which says that around 10 million android devices are sort of exploited by auto root and this is very dangerous because uh, you don't even come to realize that you are hacked uh, so it can siphon away uh, what do you say critical data and these days it's very important because if you just noticed uh, most of the OTPs, uh, secondary authentication, etc., is done via your uh, mobile phones. Uh, the passwords, uh, what you get, are on your mobile phones. And we have even banking apps and stuff. Our, obviously, our email is there on the mobile phone. There is a lot of critical data that we have on our mobile phones. And uh, if uh, uh, exploit is there uh, for example uh, your device is silently rooted you don't even come to know hackers can harvest this data silently you won't even come to know and that can be devastating and uh, there is also another type of uh, malware uh, that actually uh, puts out a lot of ads and stuff unnecessarily uh, that's okay fine but the biggest threat is this auto routing apps and you have to be careful about that again I'll have the link for and according to Ars Technica uh, India is the second biggest country where this uh, uh, malware is there the first one is China again I'll have the link in the show notes for you guys and you can do some of the basic things to actually stop such a thing because Android by itself does provide us some security features but I've noticed that many of the users actually uh, disable some of those features just to get free apps and stuff like that uh, for example I know many people especially in India try to uh, actually uh, load apps by uh, side loading them by APK and not downloading it from official sources like uh, Play Store and this can be devastating yeah you might get that paid app for free by side loading that APK but it can be modified and it can have malware uh, this is a real threat guys this is nothing like science fiction or stuff so be very careful if you side load apps from unknown sources and all, uh, if uh, I would say if I were you, uh, just install apps uh, directly from the Play Store. Uh, yes, again, the Play Store is also not 100% foolproof because there have been some instances uh, where some of the malware apps were found on Play Store. Google uh, later on removed them. But again, I would say it's a lot safer than sideloading apps. So if you have a habit of sideloading apps from unknown sources, uh, just avoid that. And uh, just uh, don't uncheck that option of uh, installing apps from unknown sources. That is one thing you should do. Another thing is that uh, you people don't realize this can actually happen. Uh, in uh, some places, we notice uh, public Wi-Fi. If the public Wi-Fi is from a known ISP or something like that, that's fine but if you are in a public place, uh, place and you just see a random uh, uh, what do you say public uh, Wi-Fi that is free to access be a little bit wary about it uh, before you use it because it can be actually set up by a hacker and uh, then he can actually monitor all the traffic and sniff out passwords and stuff so generally I don't use uh, public Wi-Fi anywhere 
uh, yeah, if it's on the airports and stuff, it's fine because you have to authenticate and it's secure. But generally, if I'm just going here and there and I notice a free Wi-Fi hotspot, it can be actually uh, set up easily by a hacker. So be wary of that. And also, if you have actually installed, uh, what do you say, uh, apps by sideloading them and done stuff like that, I would suggest you run a scan or if you notice your phone is acting a little bit wonky, sluggish and uh, you see some random pop-ups here and there, extra ads and stuff, uh, it might be uh, adware is installed. So it's a good idea to run a scan. Uh, actually, uh, a lot of sites and even Ars Technica uh, recommends this, that is known as Lookout. Uh, 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 what do you say antivirus software it's free on the play store again i'll have the link for that in the youtube show notes so that you can check it out uh, it actually scans uh, for known uh, popular malware and it can even detect some of the uh, auto routing exploits that are available so you can run that scan i did uh, run it on a couple of devices but again as uh, i've mentioned i'm very careful with what i install uh, so i didn't find anything uh, so you can uh, also install that and check if uh, your phone is sort of infected or not again you can install the free version i just checked it with the free version because even the free version is sort of scanning i think the paid version offers a lot more options like anti-theft and all those things but for the basic malware scanning even the free version uh, sort of works uh, next thing is this is sort of common sense i would say and uh, this is applicable not only for android users even if you have windows computers and stuff uh, if you get some random email links or whatever uh, from unknown sources, just don't click the links. Uh, it can go to an infected website and auto download stuff that uh, will just install uh, malware and stuff like that. So you generally be careful uh, on clicking random links. That's sort of advice uh, that's given to Windows users also. Now you should do that even on Android uh, devices. And generally with Android devices, uh, it will give us a prompt when an application is trying to install something many people don't give a thought to it they, we just press yes 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 and install so be a little bit wary about it uh, what uh, permissions you are giving to your apps and also if you are installing some random app even from uh, what do you say google play store many of these uh, apps simple apps also i noticed that they want permissions for a lot of things for example a file manager why does it need uh, what do you say uh, microphone access or something like that so be a little bit wary and if you have android marshmallow you can in fact go into the permission manager and disable some of the uh, permissions so let's say uh, you know this app uh, doesn't require this xyz permission uh, you just disable it i hope google uh, forces developers to actually uh, not enable permissions just for the heck of it but uh, that's the sad part many of the applications uh, do ask for a lot of permissions so be wary of that and also uh, uh, google has started this security monthly security update for android devices uh, but sadly it's only for a few uh, generally only few devices get that for example nexus devices get that monthly update which is sort of like a security patch you can say which uh, patches all the known vulnerabilities that are available uh, that are uh, there google knows it so every month you come uh, nexus devices get that uh, i've noticed some of the samsung devices also get that uh, htc devices also get that so uh, just check those for those updates every month and apply those updates even motorola devices get that uh, but suddenly sadly some of the chinese uh, what do you say uh, smartphone vendors do not actually uh, push out those updates that quickly uh, so be aware and you should actually uh, uh, ping these other vendors which do not provide those security updates uh, nag them uh, and hopefully they will start providing updates so if you have those devices do update it it's sort of important because uh, as i've told you hackers have now started targeting uh, android devices uh, because that's a very lucrative market right now and you have to be a little bit careful uh, what you do so again i hope uh, you found uh, this uh, video helpful again if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that uh, subscribe button and again i do this uh, weekly tech talks every week so hope to see you soon uh, next week thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you very soon